Hello everybody, it's Bomb Gizik from the Great Lakes. And I'm gonna be talking a little bit about the canoe, the birch bark canoe. In the Anishinaabe language, we call it Jiman, which actually means like riding upon the waters and skimming upon the waters. And the canoe is actually very, very interesting because the design hasn't changed in thousands of years. It didn't need to. Because everything holds everything together in a canoe. And all of the materials are accessible, they're easy to get. And so they're, e they're very easy to repair. And what makes the canoe even more special is that they float amazingly. You cannot sink a canoe. It's impossible to sink a birch bark canoe. They just float. So before we start taking a look at us actually building the canoe, I'm gonna explain the different processes and what we do. The very first part of building a canoe is laying our tobacco. We always give tobacco for the canoe because the canoe has a spirit. And we're gonna entrust that canoe to carry our families, our children, our old people. So we always offer Sema tobacco when we build a canoe. That's the very first thing. Then after that, we start harvesting. And canoe building is actually made up into three parts. Harvesting the birch bark, the roots, the sap, the cedar, the birch. And then the next part is actually carving all of the parts, which is the ribs, the gunwales, the inwales, the nose stems, the sheathing. And then the third part is actual the construction of the canoe which is putting everything together. That's sewing the bark together, that's making the building frame, that's carving the ribs and the sheathing and, and just like tying it all together. And so that's the, basically the three different phases of building a canoe. And I'm gonna tell you a story that I heard many years ago about how the canoe came to the Anishinaabek people. They say that Nanabush, who is a great spirit of ours, a great friend of the Anishinaabek people, the creator of so many things in our lands, was looking for a wife. Nobody wanted to be with Nanabush because Nanabush was so mischievous. No, no wife wanted to stay with him. And so he went and seen his dad. And he traveled all the way to the Rocky Mountains to go see his dad. Of course, his dad was the West Wind. And Nanabush says, you have to cross the big water and go find a, a wife over there. So go over the big ocean in the east and you'll find one. One that'll actually put up with you. So of course he got to the ocean and the water started to bubble because there were serpents everywhere. So then he thought, I can't swim across the water because the serpents will eat me because they don't like me. But there was somebody watching him and it was a beaver. A beaver said, you know what? I might be able to help you. I know you're trying to cross the big water. Let's see if we can make something. So that beaver started to chew down cedar trees, started to dig roots, told Nanabush to go get sap. And it was the beaver that had the design for the canoe and actually built that canoe for Nanabush. Nanabush was happy. But Nanabush also knew that they had to find a way to, to power this canoe across. And at that time, the beaver didn't have a tail. So Nanabush had an idea. He carved a, a paddle out of a pine tree. And then he slapped that beaver right in the bump. As soon as that paddle slapped that beaver in the bum. It gave the beaver that tail. 
And it said, from now on, because you helped me out, you can have that tail and you can use that to slap the water to warn your people when enemies are coming. And gifted that beaver that tail. And Nana Bush traveled all the way across the ocean and found a wife, brought the wife back. And when Nana Bush brought that wife back, he parked that canoe at a place called Dreamer's Rock or Dreamer's Mountain. And that's that's where that he parked that canoe. And when you look at that that spot, you can see where that canoe is like this. It's shaped of rocks like that. And that's how we got the canoe. That's our origin story for the canoe. And so there's been many times in my life when I when I went to that very spot and I put down my tobacco before I build a canoe. And so hopefully you enjoyed this story and hopefully you, you enjoy watching us as we build this canoe.